horrifying creature has spawned. Have to do it. Yeah, and it and it sounds just like that. Horrifying no, it, no, it's more like. Like it makes. Oh but god, yeah, there basically. It is. No. Oh god. No. Oh Christ. <laughs> it does it, it does it chases after your current leader, doesn't it? I don't. I think it just sort of goes wherever it pleases. Actually. Yeah. It it's like Doctor Mundo from um. League of Legends. Oh god, here it is. No. No, abandon Run. the donut. Run! Run for your bloody lives! Yeah, this floor isn't that bad. Hello, Blue Pikmin stuck under the ship. This, uh -uh. this, this is the reason I have never really, like, thought of completing an eight-day run is because of the frickin' uh, water right there. there. Um... Okay, well, it looks like I'm getting out of this floor already, but this next floor, I spent... It had to be at least 50 times trying to get through this freaking level, because it's really large, there's a bunch of really annoying enemies scattered everywhere. Including Baldman. Yes, including Baldman, and also the, uh... Um, withering blowhogs. And then, of course, after, like three minutes or however long it is, the water wraith will drop. One time I was trying to hide from the water wraith and the um the blowhog like blew me directly into its path and there was nothing I could do about it. And there were also like a bunch of wallywogs roaming around. It was just absolute terrible like absolutely terrible. So I tried this level so many times, never could do it. Then I came back to it like a week later and I think I did it on my first try, so Yeah. Ray. Luckily for you, Stop you get wasting to miss all the, You get to Stop wasting Pikmin on corpse carrying. Baldman. Yeah. I have this really annoying... I have to get all the corpses. Like, I don't like leaving them around for whatever reason. I think I was just looks paranoid unsanitary. that I wasn't going to get enough money. It looks unsanitary. Yes. Oh, by the way, um, for those of you who might be curious, um, the Water Wraith can only be killed by, um, tossing purples onto its face. Yeah, since, since you can't get purples in this cave, uh... Have fun. Screw you. I hate God that thing! It. Yeah. It, it hides behind the wall. And yeah, and you, know, you lose all the flowers, so... And you don't have a choice in the matter. It will happen, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Why are there so many cookies in this level? Shouldn't those have been in the glutton's kitchen? I don't freaking know. The water wraith thought that he would be able to eat them. Oh god. I just noticed that thing. <laughs> yeah. And it scared the crap out of me for a minute. <laughs> so yeah, um, after the very first time... You're, you won't be seeing the cutscene that shows the Water Wraith coming down anymore, so you gotta just listen for it. You'll hear, like, a... Sort of like a... Mew. Sort of thing, and that goes like... <laughs> and so you gotta just listen for it, and since it's sped up, you won't actually hear it coming down, so... Do you, do you, um... Do you show that little glitch that you can do with it in the, um... In the Piclopedia? Uh, I don't show anything in the Piclopedia. What is the glitch? Um, it's the one where you, like, freeze it halfway as it comes down. And, um, have you ever seen it? I don't think I have. Basically, you freeze it halfway as it comes down. You freeze the pillars as soon as they, like, land. And then, um, so it only freezes the pillars. Then, um, you freeze the water wraith when he comes down. And then the pillars unfreeze, and then you freeze them again. And then the water wraith unfreezes, and he tries to do his little, like, lift it into the air, go... But he can't. So, in the end, he's just going like... And it looks like he's, like, humping the pillars. Wow. And it's so great. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you can see, see the damn thing. Over there. I've got some whites planted in the ground. Luckily, they're safe. Uh, trying to get the Wilson tennis balls can lid. That is a really random object. Yeah. Yes. 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 
Oh god. Hide. Yeah, best way to survive from survive this guy is just pack yourself into a corner. It won't really be able to get in. Yeah, imagine if it just kept going until it ran into like a wall and then it turned. It would like crush everything in the corner and there would be no safe spots. Ever. <laughs> Ever. Oh god, of course that's not open. Why would it be? Um yeah, I'm surprised how well this floor was going. It it because the caves are randomly generated, sometimes it just gives you a better layout. I remember one time it had the blowhogs and the wallywogs and like other shit all in one spot and it, there was like a fence I had to break and it was just absolutely terrible. Dive! Dive, you fools! Yay. Now the next floor I think is just about as bad actually. Yeah, because, um, rain of explosives. This is the terrorist floor. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't remember that. Well, here's the Boltman, of course. Yeah. I like how they give Man you a lot of them. But, yeah, on this one, you do not use Pikmin to, uh, make more Pikmin. You use Boltman to make Pikmin. Yeah, see, this is the floor where the terrorists reign. No, not the terrorists. They have all of the... Oh, God! I hate those things. They are the worst things ever. Yeah, I remember though, um, the first time I ever did this cave, I came in with a hundred blues. So the bulb men didn't have any followers because they only will show up if you have room to hold Pikmin. And so, oh god, there's, there's the, the iridescent glint beetle, and you must get it now. Yes. Or suffer was, retribution. Ah, uh, kill the bulb bombs men. Yay. everywhere. That was awesome, though. But yeah, yeah I I, uh, I couldn't get the bulb men. So uh, the first time I ever did this cave, I had to get past all of the hazards with only blues. I'm not sure if I actually was able to do it. Ah, uh, everywhere. Yeah, you can't you can't let the Pikmin carry stuff. Like, alone, ever. Yeah, un unguided, unsupervised at all, because just those stupid bombs are going to be dropping every step of the way. And, of course, the water rate um, can drop at any time. And the... No, not just the bombs, but also the, um... Walking bombs. Ah! Yeah, right. I consider them the same thing, but at least the other bombs stay put. <laughs> Pale yeah. Passion. They don't chase you around. Pale Passion but this like also it might be the name of a... Yeah. Involving a very pale person. Saturate your army! Go. I probably should have given it specifically to the blues, but I didn't feel like wasting time. Yeah, well, you only missed, like, one blue and a couple of bald ah. Oh my god! No. Oh, um, that's something I forgot to mention. If you get out of, like, a certain distance away... Ah, oh everything! <laughs> it's so bad! Stupid dirigibugs, too. <laughs> But All of the yeah, balloons if you, they have, they're so weird. Yeah. But yeah, um if you get out of a certain range of the of the whatever oh god, here it comes. It just fell. Ugh. Yeah, um, I know what yeah, you're gonna you, say, the the um dweebles, they just sort of like lay down and accept their yeah, fate. Yeah, they just they just kind of like resign themselves to their fate and die. Go Ugh. Away. Away, flubber. away! Um, it really you're does look like flubber. You're safe in pipes, as far as I'm aware. I think I've seen it go into pipes, and I've also seen it get stuck on the pipes multiple times on this floor. And it might actually do it in this one. I'm not sure. Can you can can't you like stun it with a purple spray? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't have any. Yeah. That's unfortunate. A luckier person might have, like, five left over or something. Okay, so here's lucky. the deal here. I gotta get this treasure back. The water rate is loose, and I have whites that can't go through the water, so they can't be the ones to carry it. So, what do I do? I send one person to follow it, and leave one behind, and switch constantly between the two, making sure that they're safe. Yeah... And Make it's, like, about to go into the pi- Oh, God, here it is. No. Uh. 
Okay, I guess it can't go in the pipe. I think it got stuck. Yeah, now I'm Yeah, I it. did. Deviled ham in a very weird package. Yeah, it gets stuck. <laughs> nice. Oh, God. It's loose. And there's another treasure still? Seriously? I thought that was the last one. No. Oh, my God. Oh, ah. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my... <laughs> oh, God. That's... Uh. Go the hell away. Christ. <laughs> now it's never gonna leave. <laughs> Man. That is just... That is just the scariest thing ever. It's like as bad as being quartered by a pack of ravenous wolves. Run! But if the wolves were transparent and riding on a Flintstones car... Yeah, or a pair of stone pillars. The things that Duracell. The things that Rubushin has. The final evolution of that new family of go, fighting type go, Pokemon. Go, 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 Get the chapstick, go! <laughs> it's, it's no, it's a battery. It's oh, a battery. It, is. it looked like Yeah, chapstick. you got the chapstick earlier. <laughs> ah! And of course it doesn't knock over the battery. It just goes through it. Yeah, why would it knock it over? <laughs> Yay. Speed! God, speed! Okay, and here comes a blooper from a failed attempt at sub-level 3. It was amazing. At least I think it's here. Uh, no. Wait. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. BAM! <laughs> <laughs> right on Louie. <laughs> Good wow. times.